There is a saying in Thai language that when we want to remember something, we forget it. But when we want to forget something, we remember it. And it happens to us all the time. We struggle to memorize what we study for exam, yet our bad experience somehow keeps bothering us. You may wish you could remember and forget things easily like a computer. Just one click and your memory is saved or deleted. Why can't we save and delete our memories like a computer? To answer this question, we have to look at how a computer remembers and forgets. A regular computer has two types of storage, primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage, like RAM, is for short-term memory. When you write an essay on your computer, your essay is stored temporarily in RAM. If the power goes out, you lose your essay. Now, if you want to keep your essay, you have to click save. When you click save, your information is gathered into a collection called a file, which is to be stored in secondary storage, like a hard drive. The computer then finds sufficiently large memory space, writes the file in it, and lists the file in the file list. Now, the computer remembers the file. What about forgetting? Well, a computer doesn't need to erase the file the way we use a rubber to erase our handwriting. All the computer has to do is go to the file list and delete the corresponding entry from the file list, like this. As a result, the computer forgets the file and the memory space is free, ready for other files to occupy. Under this robust system, if there is no physical damage to hardware, a computer remembers forever and forgets completely. Now, let's have a look at the human memory system, which surprisingly resembles that of a computer. The brain is responsible for human memorization. A part of a brain called the hippocampus is the human equivalent of RAM. What you are seeing now or when you do mind maths, this kind of information is stored in your hippocampus, which auto-saves the information. That means it automatically converts short-term memory into long-term memory, which is stored widely all over the brain. Unfortunately, unlike RAM, the hippocampus doesn't convert everything into long-term memory. We cannot tell the hippocampus what to convert or what not to convert. And although it is converted, long-term memory is not permanent, unlike files saved in hard drive. To make things worse, the brain doesn't have the file list that allows us to pinpoint any memory and delete it as if it was a computer file. These are altogether the reason we cannot remember perfectly or forget totally like a computer. The best thing our brain has to offer is, the more frequently the hippocampus retrieves long-term memory, the more preserved it becomes. And the longer the long-term memory is not recalled, the less prominent it becomes. So, my advice, study for exam early and frequently and make peace with your past. That's the best thing you non-computers can do. Thank you.